In today's video, we're going to be painting up the Mountain Men from the Song of Ice and Fire's miniatures game. Okay, so the first thing you want to do after you've primed your miniature is we're going to come in with gunmetal. I'm going to be using gunmetal to paint up uh, all the chainmail on our Mountain Men here. So you can see he's just got a little chainmail skirt on, so we want to be painting that up with a gunmetal. And just to know, yes, this is the second video I've done of painting Mountain's Men. Um, I wasn't originally going to do this video, but I felt like there was enough uh, variations from my first video to this video and the miniatures uh, themselves with a different enough paint job that I thought I'd better show off the other versions of these models, paint them up, and show you the differences uh, in the models while doing... Um, because, you know, as you can see here, we've got another different model again from even the very first video I did. And for this one, we want to paint up all the chainmail in here as well, which is the... Uh, <coughs> sorry about that. Uh, is the chainmail skirt, and also just on the back of the legs there, there's also just a little bit of chainmail there. So you want to do that as well. And that's why uh, I felt like doing the second video, because I felt like there was enough difference between the first video and this one and the miniatures that I should do a second one to show you the um, styles and the painting that I'm going to be doing on these ones. So once we have all the chain mail all painted up, we're going to come in now with some Vallejo Game Color Tinny Tin. And we're going to be using the Tinny Tin color to be painting up all the plate armor on our miniature. Now this is very similar to what I did uh, with our last Mountains Men video. Actually for this time I'm not going to be placing another color over top of them. These ones I'm just going to be keeping with the Tinny Tin color. Um, I really enjoy this color and I think it's also going to add a bit more variety to the miniatures because I feel like the Mountains Men are these, these dark evil well I shouldn't say evil but uh, really strong and tough guys and I think um, separating them out with just a darker color metal with these uh, dark tin color um, to separate them out from just having a lot of plate mail and stuff and I want to get across that the you know they're big rough and tumble guys so I think emphasizing that with a darker color for their metals is just a cool thing to do now you could always just substitute this out and place on uh, either a plate mail metal or go over the exact same color that we did with a chain mail in the last step and then of course we're moving on to our other miniature as well now this guy here he has uh, a lot more uh, plate on him so we want to make sure we get all the arms and of course the boots as well and he also has these two uh, metal plates just above his skirt there so don't forget to do those as well while you're painting them up and remember uh, if you're finding that the paint's streaking a little bit just wait for it to dry and go over it with a second coat to really smooth all that paint out and once we've painted up all that plate mail what we're going to do now is we're going to come on with some dirt spatter. I'm going to be using this dirt spatter color to be painting up all our uh, straps and belts on our miniatures. So you can see here he's got some just on the inside of his arm. So don't forget to really get in there if you need to with a smaller brush. Come in there with a smaller brush and do that. And then this guy also has a big long uh, belt across his chest. So don't forget to do that. And just of course being as neat as we possibly can here trying to avoid coming back over and doing extra steps and also we want to make sure we come to our other miniature and we want to do the straps on there as well so just remember uh, this one here can be a little bit tricky to get to so if you need to hold it at a at any funny angle you want to to just grab that uh, strap there and or since this guy also has a bunch of uh, bags on him we're going to be painting one of these up in the dirt spatter color now i'm just going to be randomly painting up the different versions of those uh, bags on the different models but if you want to make them all the same then by all means go ahead and make them all the same color and then after that we're just going to be hitting the bottom of our sword here just grabbing that as well so once that's all done what we want to do now is we want to come in with monster brown and we're going to be using them monster brown to be doing a lot of the uh, leather working that we have left on our miniatures so with this guy here we want to be getting these little pieces uh, just underneath here like you can see in between all these areas and we also want to be going uh, the leather on the arms and just really trying to get in there now if you need to you might want to come in with a 
finer brush to really get in these details and be quite small in the gaps and just trying to cover it over as much as we possibly can and then of course going to our uh, other miniature here we're just going to be doing the, the top bit that you can see me doing here because this big piece on the back we're going to be leaving that for another color and of course uh, since I'm using a different brown I'm also going to be painting up uh, part of the bag in a different color as well to vary up all those bags in different colors too. Then once we have that complete what we're going to do now is we're going to come in with some barbarian flesh and we'll be using the barbarian flesh to be painting up all the faces on our miniatures um, because this is the only area that we have uh, exposed on these mountain men guys that they don't have any arms uh, uncovered or feet or legs or anything like that it's just the faces with these guys so this is going to be a relatively uh, simple step to be getting all these faces done so just I'm being pretty rough here with the faces just really uh, blobbing it on now with all the faces painted up what we're going to do is we're going to come on with khaki here now this step is just going to be for these guys here that have all the bags on them um, I'm just going to be painting up the last color on this bag here in the khaki color so this is just a nice quick step to make sure you vary up all those different browns but again this step is totally up to you if you want to make all the bags that these guys have on them all the same color then go right ahead Okay, now with all that done, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to come in with some rough iron. And unlike the last step where we painted over our tinny tin uh, with the uh, other mountains band, we're actually just going to be using this rough iron on the the bottom part of our blade here, the, the cross guard, and of course the very bottom, the pommel of it as well. We're just going to use a rough iron here to separate out the, the dark colors we have on here with rough iron and the tinny tin since they're so close. Okay, so once that step is completed, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come on with some dark stone and I'm going to be painting the hair of our miniature here. Now, with the hair, I'm going to be using uh, a bunch of different colors here. So I'm just showing you the dark stone for now, but I'm also going to be using uh, a bunch of the colors that we've already used, like the, the khaki and uh, the various browns that we've had to be painting all the hair on our uh, Mountains Men miniatures. Um, just to add in a bit of variety, but if you want to make them all the same hair color, then go right ahead. But uh, lately I've been painting them, uh, a bunch of my Game of Thrones models, all in uh, having a couple of different hair variations, just to separate them out a little bit. And it's just a nice quick step to make them pop a little bit on the table. And now with that step complete, it's time to hit the big part of our miniature, which we're going to be using demonic yellow to do. And this is going to be to do our... Uh, big coat that this guy here is wearing since he's mostly in this color I'm going to be really going uh, with quite nice coats on here and since yellow is such a, a hard color to paint on as you have seen in my last video where I actually painted yellow with a uh, black primer and it took me so many layers to do um, I thought I'd be a bit smarter this time and use a lot lighter color primer um, so if you are painting these mountain men up like I am um, might be good to go with a white or a light grey primer to really uh, drop down some of those steps that you need to do with the uh, um, yellow here to build up that really bright yellow colour. And then of course on our second variant of our miniature here, this is what we were saving it up for. So we just want to be painting the back of this uh, sort of checkered quilted pattern that they have on them. Okay, so once we have all our yellow painted up and complete, what we're going to do now is we're going to come on with a gun metal, and we're going to be using the gun metal to just be uh, painting up these uh, belt buckles uh, all over the miniatures here. So now, uh, the, this guy here actually has two belt buckles. He's got the one just on his chest, and he's got the one uh, that's holding his uh, pants up. And then on our other model, they also have... Uh, one belt buckle as well so don't forget to just get around with them uh, you may have to be a little bit fiddly with them but they won't be too hard to do okay so once we have those belt buckles completed what we're going to do now is we're going to come in with matte black and we're going to be uh, using this matte black to be painting up the uh, sort of face covering like sort of semi mask that this uh, guy has on him now just uh, this model here that has the face mask thingy on him so I want to go with the matte black to really give off that sort of menacing look and I'm just coming in with a really fine brush here to get that since it's such a small area and it, it's around a lot of detail so I don't want to paint too much over uh, 
with the black because it's going to be quite hard to get those layers back so that's why I come in here with a smaller brush to get that detail and then of course like we've done with all our Game of Thrones models so far is we're going to paint the base with the matte black as well now that we have that done that's all our base layers completed so now it's time to come in with the washes starting off with flesh wash I'm going to be using this to be placing all over our barbarian flesh that we've painted on here as well as the hair as well I like to do the hair in a flesh wash um, I guess to sort of tie in the face and the hair together but I feel uh, flesh wash has uh, since it's got that nice uh, real sort of skinny color in it just adding a bit to the hair also vibrance that up a little bit rather than um, if I do a brown wash or a black wash uh, especially on these dark colors it can really make it go too dark and you can lose a lot of detail that's why I generally choose to use the flesh washes for the hair as well okay so once all that flesh wash is all completed and dry what we're going to do is we're going to come in with known oil now and my favorite thing to do with known oil is I love to put known oil all over anything that's metallic so all over our metallics but we've done our plate armor, our sword uh, everything like that, our boots and our chain skirt underneath don't forget to do that as well um, go in with the known oil and do all that I just love the uh, color it brings out in metals with the known oil uh, much more than most other washes from uh, different companies. I just just love that effect so much and you, you'll find me I do it quite often on this channel uh, Using known oil over metals just because it gives off that cool effect that I like So make sure you get all the metal pieces for that and then of course Don't forget with our other model since it's so much bigger and it's covered in so much more metal uh, To do that as well now also don't forget to try and avoid all our yellow spots in that on there that we have in there because that known oil will really darken all that yellow way way down so try and avoid that too okay now to move on to the next step once all that's dry is we're going to come in now with strong tone and we're going to be using the strong tone to be painting over all our yellow sections of our mountains men giving that a nice coat with that to really uh, dirty up all that um, nice bright yellow and to just tone it down a little bit because it could be a, can be a little bit bright now with me I'm going to be doing the exact same thing that I did in my uh, last Mountain Men's video which is I just kept it with the dark uh, wash over, or the strong tone wash over I should say because um, I really like the effect that um, the strong tone gives um, by making it look like these guys are being down in the mud really sort of getting up on the front lines and fighting uh, so that's why I don't uh, come back over with any highlights or any of them I think they go against the mountain men um, even though they have this bright color I don't think they're too pretty and fancy about trying to keep that yellow nice and um, pristine so that's why I come in and just leave the wash on there just to give it that grimy look With that we have finished with our Song of Ice and Fire miniatures, the Mountains Men, and you can see that they've come out really nicely uh, just with all that detail and then of course my uh, thing I like to do with the Mountain Men that I've done before is like giving them the darker armor to just separate them out from just sort of uh, the main units we have because so many of the units in the Song of Ice and Fire miniatures game, uh, a lot of them are just a lot of uh, steel and metal colors so by adding in our tinny tin and giving them that really dark iron sort of look um, will really separate them out on the table since the mountains men are supposed to be tough gritty people um, so I think that has just worked uh, quite well and it's the style that I like so I hope you enjoy it too but with that I think that's where we're going to end the video there today so I hope this has been useful for you and if you've enjoyed the video please leave uh, a like or even subscribe to the channel if you find what I'm doing here uh, helpful and useful for you guys and with that I'd just like to again thank you one last time and I'll see you all in the next video